What's up guys, I'm BTC. The anniversary event is right around the corner, so today I'm gonna tell you everything you can expect to get from the event, when the teasers will start, and what legendary skins are most likely to happen. First up, when can we expect the event to run? In 2017, it went from May 23rd to June 12th. In 2018, it was May 22nd to June 11th. We can expect something very similar for this year, 2019. So next week, either Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday is when the event is going to start. It will run for several weeks and will likely end somewhere around June 9th to the 12th. Every event has its own special game mode associated with it. For Anniversary, it is Free For All Deathmatch and Team Deathmatch, and these take place in a special arena-style map. We already have a bunch of them in the game, like Black Forest, Castillo, Petra, and those. And in addition to that, we always get a brand new arena-style map to accompany the Anniversary. So the first year, it was the three maps. Then the next year, it was Petra. This year, it's almost certainly going to be Singapore. And the reason why I say that is because we had a teaser about the Storm Rising event a couple weeks ago, and it was Maximilian talking to Overwatch during his interrogation. And he talked about where Doomfist was going to be next, and he said that he's going to arrive in Singapore in three weeks. So it's very likely that the arena map we get is going to be Singapore. The three week time frame he gave is also probably relevant because that will be tomorrow, Thursday, May 16th. And that is very likely when we're going to get the very first teaser for the upcoming anniversary event. It's entirely possible they could release it today, a day early, but best guess is probably tomorrow. Usually it comes in the form of a little lore tidbit or possibly a legendary skin reveal. Another thing about the game mode and the new map, if it is Singapore, that is the location where Doomfist was finally captured by Winston, Genji, and Tracer. So previously, I speculated that it could possibly be another mini game mode similar to Yeti Hunt where they have a boss fight where several players use the Overwatch characters and you have to go against another player on the enemy team using a supercharged boss mode Doomfist. Now this is just pure speculation on my part, but Jeff Kaplan did hint that there was going to be something interesting coming out with the anniversary event, kind of PvP related, so this could possibly be it. It seems to me that because this event and this location has such lore significance, they may want to do something a little bit extra with it. Another special thing that goes on with the anniversary event is during the weeks that the anniversary event is active, the arcade will have game modes from all of the other events. So you might have the Winter Wonderland May Snowball Fight, you might have the Lucio Ball from Summer Games, you might have Junkenstein. So all of those get rotated in and out of the arcade. In addition to that, the anniversary loot boxes will contain items from every other event that has ever happened. Now, the way the pricing works on these, in case you want to buy the other items, because during the anniversary event, you can get any item that has ever been added to the game. Now, if the item is over a year old, then it's at the discounted price. For example, a legendary from the Summer Games several years ago is only going to be a thousand. However, a legendary from this year's Summer Games will be 3,000, or this year's archives will be 3,000, but last year's will be at that reduced price, so that's how it works. Now, a bunch of people have asked, what about the Sombra skin from the BlizzCon? I don't know. It was put on the PTR and it was had a price of a thousand credits, but then on another patch they took it off and made it so that it wasn't able to be purchased anymore. So I don't know if it's getting added to the anniversary. They did say that that skin was going to be available at some point this year, but they haven't followed up on that and they haven't given any details. I assumed it would probably be included in a new default loot box update, but that never happened. And now we're having anniversary event. Maybe they're going to include it with this. I don't know. And speaking of legendary skins, I know a lot of you guys like this. So now I'm going to do my predictions on who I think is going to get a legendary in this upcoming anniversary event. So looking on the screen right now, you can see these are some of the charts that I use to try to figure out who's getting what. 
and I have all these different kind of formulas and different methodologies on how I pick this stuff. The first one's a freebie because Jeff Kaplan told us that D.Va was going to be getting a skin. He said it would break the internet and I know some people thought that this had something to do with Wreck-It Ralph. That movie came out like six months ago. I don't think they're gonna do cross promotion with something like that. If they're going to do cross promotion, it's going to be something new that's coming out soon, not something that's already been released a while ago. The other theory is that maybe it could be a K-pop skin. I don't know, maybe. There's also a couple of cool skins from the Heroes of the Storm that you've been seeing on screen, so any of those could work, but we do know that D.Va is getting one. For my predictions, I think it's going to be Ana, Genji, Mei, Roadhog, and Winston. Ana hasn't gotten one in a little while, and I don't believe she's ever gotten an anniversary event skin. Genji hasn't gotten a legendary in over a year. He did get the all-star skin last year for the Overwatch League, but you had to pay money for that one. So I don't know if that one really counts. I mean, it kind of does, kind of doesn't, but he hasn't gotten anything for any of the events for a very long time. So I would be pretty surprised if he doesn't get anything. Mei hasn't gotten anything for a while, but she did get a previous anniversary legendary a couple years ago. But Roadhog and Winston haven't gotten anything for the anniversary event. And this is just an opportunity for Blizzard to make whatever character skin they think is cool. Because the anniversary doesn't follow any particular theme. So if they need to have a legendary skin that wouldn't fit somewhere else in any of the other events, they can just drop it in anniversary and it works. Now the anniversary event does tend to be a little bit legendary heavy, so it might be more than those six, but usually Blizzard does six legendaries and three epics, so that's just kind of the theme that I'm going to run with. The three epic are going to be Hanzo, Farah, and Torbjorn, and while they have gotten some legendary skins recently, it's been a very long time since they've gotten an epic. So. I think some of the other characters have been getting a bunch of epics recently, and it seems like these three are probably due for their share. So there you have it. Teasers will probably start tomorrow, and the event will likely begin next Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. So what characters do you think are going to get legendary skins? Leave me your list down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more, subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Also, come hang out in my Discord server and my Twitch livestream. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. If you'd like to see what kind of cool VIP rewards you can get, check the links down below. And remember, always, always blame the controller, because it's never your fault.